What a mess. Where's my hatchet? Hmm. All right. What an amazing piece of technology. These AC units, I mean, I, I couldn't live without them. We're in the middle of like a heat wave here in Canada. Yeah. It does get hot in Canada. Why do you think I always wear these shirts? In 1785, Benjamin Franklin and John Haiti, professor of chemistry at Cambridge University, conducted an experiment to explore the principle of evaporation as a means to rapidly cool objects. In 1820, British scientist and inventor Michael Faraday discovered that compressing liquefied ammonia could chill air when the liquefied ammonia was allowed to evaporate. Okay. In 1842, Florida physician John Gorey used a compressor technology to create ice, which he used to cool air for his patients in his hospital. He was a doctor. He even envisioned uh, centralized air conditioning units and systems that could cool entire cities. Most AC units, even window units, uh, usually contain uh, Freon or Freon's per <laughs> Freon's a brand name, owned by DuPont, and Freon comes in various numbers, R11, R12, R22. This one particular had R22 in it. It was drained by a professional, and it was then replaced by the same professional, and they used uh, a non-ozone depleting chemical, also made by DuPont, under the, the Puron brand name, instead of the Freon. It's Puron now, because it's Pure-on-ish. I don't know stuff right anyway so Puron is now put in the new air conditioner that was replacing this one <sighs> that was filled with a uh, 410a you can't hatch everything off there's the top where's my cutters I have no tools available got my good wire cutters these things are so easy to take apart. I'm sure if I taught my kid how to do it, they would be able to as well. Okay, so, look at this. This is a fan. This is a couple bearing motor. Whoa! There's a fan shroud. There's your tin. We talk about this all the time. Okay. Here's your copper bearing motor. Um, I'm not gonna take this steel off. But if you take this down, you know, these are full of copper. These fins, usually full of aluminum. They're made to be super lightweight and less noisy. Right in the motor bin. That was easy. <laughs> Choppity chop chop. some more tin. So these cages are usually just designed to hold in these fins. Here we go. Like that. Another screw. That's MCL, it's mixed copper aluminum. There's copper lines running back and forth all throughout the aluminum. I'll show you how to make that worth more in another video. Do you guys know what's in here? It's as dangerous as a microwave or a television. Do you see this? This is a capacitor. Uh, there's a bit of copper wire in here. I just take all the copper wire out and then you're done. Smash these, smash, smash. 
Oh my gosh. I thought I was gonna get through a whole episode without having to. Revert to the hatchet. This is a condenser or a compressor, however you want to look at it. Most people call them compressors. Okay. This is a sealed unit. They call this a sealed car. <laughs> they call this a sealed unit. They call them sealed motors. There is a lot of copper inside. Similar to, I can show you. Similar to something like this with a lot more copper in it because of the size. It needs the extra torque to compress the fluids. This is the best way to <laughs> it is the best way to get down to the very bottom of the condenser with your copper bits. I think I'm gonna make a separate video showing you how to remove copper from this, but it's not gonna be today. It will be some point in time in the future when I sit down in my garage and I have space to do anything. From the looks of it, things are getting a little messy back here. I can't even see the floor. I just looked back and I didn't even see the floor. I can bench press most grown men. Thank you. I was thinking about using this box of wire as a table. Put something on it. Put the air conditioner on it. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.